Hey everybody, this is Joe from ResourceMobility.com. Um, really like this new plugin that we put out. It's called Divi Admin Label Helper. And when we turn over websites to clients, we always try to have the admin field populated so that they're able to find and know what they're editing, especially on the admin side and a little bit with the wireframe on the visual builder as well. But let's go ahead and take a look on how this works. First off, to get to the settings, you go to Divi, theme options, and you have a new tab up here called Divi Admin Label Helper. We're going to go ahead and enable it. And then it's going to give you some extra options here as well. So I'm going to check all these. So we're going to move the admin label to the top. Over here you can check and it'll give a description about what each one does. But um, So we're going to move that to the top. Keep the admin label toggle open. And then some of your modules like the blur module, the button module, several other ones have like a title text area. So when you type into that title text area we have it so it will auto populate the admin field as you're going along so let me go ahead and save these changes and let's go ahead and just create a new page we're just going to call it testing and we're going to go ahead and use the Divi Builder and as you can see we have all these enabled we're going to build from scratch so let's go ahead and put a row in. We'll use a blurb. So as you can see, the admin label has now been moved to the top. The toggle is automatically open. Now if we wanted to type into this title text for this blurb, let's say it's um, you know, product one, it'll type in the admin label automatically. And I'll go ahead and show you here as well we couldn't get this all the way up to the top because of the column structure but it's right here underneath of that where you can type in the row um, we'll just say row blurbs and as you can see let's go ahead and just make this a three column and let's add a button and if we start typing here we can do a call us button it'll auto populate the admin field and if you take a look at this section it'll let you label it right here at the top as well um, product and call us button so that way if the things are collapsed uh, to save space you're able to see it but let's take a look at the visual builder side now that we have these made let me go ahead and go to the front end. Enable the visual builder. So as you can see, we have this button made. So let's go ahead and add a new module. Use another blur module. It'll still go ahead and auto populate. Here is another one. So here it is. Here is another one. We'll go ahead and take all this text out. Go ahead and get rid of the image. And you'll see that the admin label is not at the bottom. It's up here at the top. It's auto populated. So as you build the site, you can auto populate the admin labels, which is great when you're handing the site over to a client. Or, like a lot of people have to frequently, is you have to go to the wireframe. So when you go to the wireframe, everything is up labeled. And I'm trying to think of one that does not auto populate. So let's add um, maybe a uh, I don't think the menu has a title text, but see. There's nothing to really type in the auto populate, but it's right here at the top where you can put uh, menu nav. And then it's automatically thing, and it's just easy. So when you hand over to the client, they're able to see exactly where it is that they're editing. That's a quick look at the plugin. Have a good one.